Let me just get this out of the way before we start. I love old RPGs. I'm talking about turn-based, sprite-based, old RPGs on the Super Nintendo or before. Uh, some of my favorite games of all time are Breath of Fire 2, Chrono Trigger, Earthbound, Lufia, any of any of those. And so I'm sad to see the current state of my favorite genre, which is essentially dead or it would seem so, unless you look to the portable scene, where there is a lot of good RPG action to be had. The problem is, most of it's region locked. Most of these games are being developed in Japan for a Japanese audience, and they really don't see the profitability of taking their product over here to the States anymore. And who can blame them? Things have really gone downhill. I mean, Final Fantasy VII opened up the Western market to, well, casual gamers, I hate to say it, but it is kind of true. I mean, Final Fantasy VII brought so many people into the fold of turn-based RPGs that had never even considered playing a game like that before. That was for, that was for a completely different subset of society that had nothing to do with them. They'd never crawl through a dungeon, but suddenly they loved Cloud and Sephiroth. So that was a big change. Look at Final Fantasy now. Look at how it's representing the uh, RPG genre, moving away from all of the conventions that I personally enjoy. Now, admittedly, some gems have found their way over here. Uh, Xenoblade Saga is a great example of that. Lost Odyssey on 360 was a fantastic turn-based RPG this generation, although that was Mistwalker Studios, who I believe split off from Square Enix before they went in their current Final Fantasy 13, 13 Part 3, The Return of Lightning's Return direction. Uh, yeah. Although the situation isn't entirely dark, because there are a lot of talented developers, indie developers I should say, who are taking up the sprite-based platform. Uh, wonderful games like Cthulhu Saves the World, which is almost a parody and a love letter to exactly the genre of game that I'm talking about. Uh, even nods to nods to old RPGs like looking in a drawer and it says, oh, there would have been a potion here, but previous heroes must have already plundered this hotel room. Unfortunately, that's the only way that I really see them surviving. I don't think that sprite-based, turn-based, uh, old-school fantasy RPGs are ever coming back. I think that Japanese developers are... Well, you can't really blame them. They're looking to the West. They're looking to games like Skyrim that have sold millions of copies and, and, and have engrossed people in these worlds. That's what they want. They want to take uh, that kind of business model not business model. They want to take that kind of gameplay model and perhaps apply it to a Final Fantasy world, which could be interesting in and of itself. I mean, a free-roaming world with choices and branching endings and, ex you know, exploration and randomly generated events and side quests, but mixed with a JRPG sensibility. I could see it, but it's not what I want. Uh, it's just sad to say that really these days all of the best RPGs you're going to find on handhelds, and most of those are going to be region locked to Japan. So, unless you're uh, hacking around in your system there, or you don't mind importing a Japanese device and learning moon runes from the glorious land of Nippon, you're gonna be missing out on a lot. Not just in this generation, not just in the last generation, but in the future. And, uh, that makes me sad as an RPG fan. It's a genre that I don't want to see go, but I just don't think there's much profit in it, and I don't think people are going to be doing the same kind of experiences that we're used to ever again. Maybe I should have titled this video, RPGs Are Dead, and they're being buried under. I hope I'm wrong. Perhaps Final Fantasy XV will follow in the footsteps of Nine and put it all back on track. Not to say that Final Fantasy is the ambassador for RPGs everywhere, but it's a pretty good milestone of where the giant of the genre is is going. So, uh, that's my point for today. Just a little bit rambling. I've been playing some of these old-school RPGs recently, and it just even bothered me how they're gone, you know? Uh... And it's not just nostalgia goggles, because, uh, the gameplay you're seeing here is from Breath of Fire 3, which is a game I hadn't played as a child. I just started playing this game this year, and I love it. So, where are these? You know? These aren't that expensive to make. Uh, just, I guess there's just no more, no more audience for it. Fire Emblem is still doing okay. Strategy RPGs seem to be doing fine. I don't know how that is. That's more of a niche genre than, you know what? Forget it. Enough rambling for today. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I promise you I'll bring you some, uh, real video game news once some of that actually happens. Hasn't been much of that lately. Unless you count Nintendo Direct, where Reggie fils once again pretended to be excited about more DLC for New Super Mario Bros. 2. Is anybody tired of those coin packs yet? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, but Luigi's Mansion... Shut it. Where are my RPGs?